All right, I am back at Devil's Hole in State Game Lands 221. I'll be taking the stairs today. This is, uh, I'm hoping to take Devil's Hole Trail uh, to the Overlook, and then I'm going to try and find the connection to Seven Pines Mountain. Uh, it's another trail in State Game Lands 221. Uh, I, it's, it's not, um, I can't find any uh, information on it, but I do see that it's on the map, and so I'm going to go try and find it this morning. It is uh, Sunday morning, August 15th, 2021, uh, and it is just after sunrise. It's about uh, 6.40 a.m., so it's not just after sunrise, but um, it's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes after sunrise. But anyway, uh, let's, get, let's get going. This is going to be good. So here we are at the staircase getting ready to ascend. Let's find out if I can find the overlook and then find the connection to Seven Pines Mountain and hike that trail as well. All right, here we go. That one moves. <laughs> That doesn't look safe to walk on, so I'm going around. All right, so a lot of these uh, steps move. And uh, again, all these hikes are hike at your own risk, especially here in uh, State Game Lands 221, where the trails are not marked. But definitely, hike these stairs. Uh, I've, I've stopped using the stairs. I'm just hiking on the dirt as much as possible, but definitely use those at your own risk. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, so right away I'm faced with a conundrum. It looks like the trail continues that way, maybe. Also looks like, well, I see a line. See how the stones are making a line? Um, that doesn't really look natural. So that may be a marker. I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. All right, so I followed that line of rocks for a hundred feet or so, and then it turned into this. And this is definitely a path with rocks lining both sides of, of that path. So uh, I don't know if it's the path to the overlook, but it is definitely a path that someone meant for us to follow. And so I'm gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, so that path led to this, looks like an old logger's road. And I'm thinking if I would have followed the path beside the stream, it would have taken me there. 
and it would have been much easier. That's quite an ascent. Um, all right, let's keep going. Try to find that overlook. I'm at a fairly flat place on the trail. I uh, had to stop. I was getting pretty winded. Had to stop and catch my breath. Uh, it's a real pretty place. It is 10 to 8. So it's 7.50 a.m. There's not a cloud in the sky. And you see how dark it is around me. Maybe you don't. It is a light gathering lens. Um, but it's kind of like dusk, twilight here in the woods, even though the sun has been up for about an hour and 45 minutes. Hour and 30 minutes maybe, but it is beautiful. Notice the further you get up the mountain on this trail, the thicker the grass grits and the thinner the, uh, the wheel ruts get. That alone should tell you how tough this, uh, this trail is. I believe it is rated moderate on all, all trails. And um, I'm going to say that's about right. Especially if, like me, you're a day hiker and you're not a 
you're not a through hiker. Okay, it looks like I am getting to the place where it breaks off to take you to the overlook. And I am looking for the overlook today. So I'm gonna follow this way, try to find the overlook, and then come back, take the trail that way to try and find Seven Pines Mountain Trail as well. All right. I just startled a bunch of deer and they scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> Although I shouldn't have, I should have known. A bear isn't gonna make that much noise. Deer make a lot of noise when they're running through the woods. You can see I'm near the top of the mountain, getting close to about 2,000 feet. Okay, looks like I'm basically here because this loops back around in this little loop here. You can see it goes back that way. Alright, let's see if this is actually an overlook. I certainly hope so. Looks like some folks have been having fires up here, which is probably a nice place to come and spend a day or so. Hmm. It looks like that might be useful as an overlook. I don't really see a way down. Well, looks like that might be the way down right there. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, I'd say that's definitely an overlook. Well, Devil's Hole Trail was already on the list for fall because I know it's going to be absolutely gorgeous, but I got to add this to the list, don't I? I mean, to miss this in October, that especially when it's six miles from my house, um, or the parking lot is, anyway, uh, that would be a crime against humanity, at least against this human if I were to miss this. So, holy cow, going on the list. <laughs>
we got the first thing uh, checked off the list today. There's not really a list. There's just things I'm curious about. But we found the overlook. Uh, that is where we came from. That is where uh, I'm going to, that's where the trail continues. That is still Devil's Hole Trail. Uh, I am going to see if I can find uh, where it connects to uh, Seven Pines Mountain Trail. And I'm going to see if I can hike Seven Pines Mountain Trail. Um, it's again, it's on the map, but I can't find any information about it. So I don't know if it, if that land has been acquired and it's now private property or what, but I'm going to try and find it and see if I can hike it. If it's private property, I won't do it. Um, and then, uh, also this is supposed this trail was originally a loop or it's supposed to be a loop. It, it's a loop on the map, but, uh, it cuts off, uh, about two thirds of the way through and it, and all trail says it's private property. Don't go there. Uh, I'm going to check that out as well. Uh, it, um, it just seems strange that state game lands would be selling off to private property folks. So uh, I'm going to check it out and see if those reports are rumors or if they are true or if the rumors are true. That happens sometimes too.